I have been asked a couple of times on the channel that how to prune a large limited model and if that is a good idea. Well, if you ask me, I have my own opinion and that I will disclose shortly. But the reason which people give is that sometimes they don't need all the general abilities of an LLM. So they might look at pruning the layers of LLM. Layers in LLM refer to the sequential component of these neural networks that process input data, each layer transforming the input data to extract increasingly abstract features relevant to the task at hand, enabling complex hierarchical learning. Well, there are two tools which you can use to prune an LLM. First is this LLM pruner and the second one is this Venda. Let me give you a very quick overview of both of these tools. This LLM pruner is, in my humble opinion, is slightly better because installation is a bit simple and it needs a bit less resources. Another good thing about LLM pruner is that it is task agnostic compression is supported. So what, me, what it means is that the compressed LLM should uh, retain its original ability as a multitask solver, which is not always the case, but still. Another cool thing is that they have tried to keep this as lightweight as possible. So there has been um, less training corpus in it. For example, they have only used 50,000 publicly av available samples from Alpaca to post train the LLM. Also, it supports three minutes for pruning and three hours for post training. You can make it longer by the way if you want. But again, remember if you're pruning LLM, you will need some good resources, some really a nice GPU, maybe multiple GPUs, plus good RAM and disk space. Anyway, so this LLM pruner also supports um, automatic structural pruning, which means that you can do the pruning with new LLMs with minimal human effort. Again, that is not finished project. My problem with uh, this LLM pruner and the other project is that if you go through their GitHub repo, you will see that their last update was last year in August 30. 30th, nothing happened afterwards as in terms of this GitHub repo, which is, I mean, August last year, that is like Iron Age in terms of AI. So a lot of things have already happened. A lot of water has already, uh, you know, gone through under the bridges. So I think that is one of the issues. Same is the case with, by the way, the other one, the Vanda one, which is an official PyTorch implementation of uh, weight and activation Venda stands for weight and activations and they also have a paper around it which you can access it from there um, this github repo and i'll drop the link in beauty's description my problem with this Venda is that it looks better but again if you check out the installation file at the end it says that there are known issues with the transformer library on loading the llama tokenizer correctly and then fear I don't think so that is valid anymore and as i said earlier even all the versions are quite old we are talking about a, you know quite a long time here again if i go back and if we see the updates there again um it seems like september last year and lama 2 support and all that stuff so seems quite old but again i think as far as pruning is concerned these are the only two tools i'm aware of if you are aware of any other tools please put put, the, put, put them in the comments as that will be helpful if someone is still uh, bent on uh, you know pruning the LLMs you can't stop the people um, now my thoughts on pruning so personally I'm not sure that if pruning is a good idea to be honest I don't think so that we know enough about how LLMs work to get really good solid results from extreme pruning pruning large language model like GPT or Llama or Mistral can be a problematic approach due to several reasons. First, LLMs rely on dense and interconnected neural architectures where each parameter contributes to the model's performance. Pruning, which involves removing parameters deemed less important, risks disrupting this interconnectedness and can lead to unintended consequences such as decreased model performance or increased accessibility to overfitting. Also, the complex hierarchical nature of LLMs means that the importance of individual parameters can be difficult to ascertain accurately and pruning may remove seemingly less important parameters that are actually crucial for the model's overall functionality. 
and then LLMs are often pre-trained on large data sets and fine-tuned for specific tasks and pruning may undermine the benefits of this extensive training by compromising the model's ability to generalize and adapt effectively to different inputs and context. That is why while pruning might seem appealing for reducing model size or computational cost, it can significantly degrade LLM performance and should be approached cautiously. Having said that, at the very end, there is one remote use case, loose use case I would say is to when you see that there is a model which has been trained on multilingual and you want to just take out the layers or the sort of portion of that LLM which is specific to your own language, then it might make sense to prune the model just accordingly and then fine tune it later on. But that is an edge case. So if you are aware of any other edge case or you think that uh, pruning does make sense and I am just talking uh, about the last year, please feel free to, uh, you know, share your opinion, your thoughts in the comments. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.